If you're trying to choose which GLP-1 you want to be on, then this is the video you've been waiting for. I am a medical provider. I prescribe GLP-1s to people all the time, but keep in mind, this is not medical advice. So make sure that you always talk to your provider if you have questions. By far the two most common and most available GLP-1s are semaglutide and terzepatide. They both work on appetite, they both help with blood sugar, and they both help with metabolic health, but they're not twins and a lot of people get confused on which medication when it comes time to choose. And frankly, choosing a medication is weird to some people because for most people, they think that their provider should be choosing, but in actuality, that's really not a, the way it works in clinical practice. Oftentimes your insurance provider chooses for us. Even if we want you on something, they put you on something different. So here are some reasons that you might choose one versus the other. Semaglutide, it is the OG. We have a ton of long-term data on it. And it's a very solid choice for people that are needing help with their, not only their weight, but just metabolic health but people do tend to have more nausea with semaglutide. It is a GLP-1 only. It works on one pathway. So some people feel like they hit plateaus more frequently on semaglutide. The best thing about it, it's usually more budget friendly. So for a lot of people, they start out with semaglutide just because it's what their budget allows. Next up, terzepatide. Terzepatide is literally a cousin to semaglutide, but it works on two receptors. It is a GLP-1 and a GIP. So it is stronger. That little combo can be more appetite suppression, more fat loss, and these results can show up quicker for people, which obviously people like. The most obvious downside to terzepatide is the cost because it tends to be more expensive. Here's the real truth. What you pick highly depends on your individual situation. What can you afford? What can you afford long-term? Are you really sensitive to medication? Are you super sensitive to nausea? If you are, maybe skip semaglutide and just go straight to terzepatide. Do you have a lot of weight to lose? Maybe that's a reason that you would wanna start off with the stronger terzepatide that hits two pathways instead of one. But keep in mind, both work, both are tools. This should not be super confusing. They are both medically okay for you to take if you qualify for a GLP-1. So there's not a medical reason that you could take one and not the other. And I think that's where people get really confused. So if you've qualified, they told you it's okay to take a GLP-1, you can pick either one. If you're looking to start a GLP-1 and you don't know where to go, there are some resources right here in my bio. I want you to hit that follow button and I will continue to break down the differences between these two if you're still confused.